Riley Moore on right now? Is, it, is that you, Riley? That is me. Good morning, I sir. Mean. How are you? Congratulations. Congratulations. No, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Doing well this morning. How much sleep did you get last night, Riley? Uh, not too much. I, you know, I'm kind of political junkie, so I'm just sitting at all the precincts still coming in. And <laughs> um, but no, I, I didn't sleep too much. Riley, your uh, take on what we saw last night in Berkeley County, only 17.83% of the voters turned out. Uh, that's not an impressive total. I think Jefferson County, Bill, you said was 22? 21%. 21, 22. Uh, I don't know. What was the statewide total, Riley? Do you know? I don't know what the statewide total was on turnout. I was actually just looking at it. But, um, I mean, it's uh, it looked to be down kind of everywhere. I mean, not as much as it was in Berkeley. Yeah, Ber- Berkeley's was very low, but Ber- I think Berkeley in a primary is routinely low. Yeah. Why would you? Why do you think Berkeley's so low, Riley? You have any idea? It's always I don't. Low. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it 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 tends to trend low, but then I mean, it always ramps up in the general. Um, you know, when we have a presidential um, year, I mean, they they tend to come out pretty strong in the general. But uh, yeah, this, this this is low. Yeah, uh, look, no doubt about it. The question is statewide. Statewide was 30%. Mm. Now, that's a Republican contest. I don't know statewide in, in both parties, but Republican, 30%. Yeah. Now, Riley, in regards yeah. to your race, uh, do, any, do any of those numbers surprise you? You got sub-50%. Of course, it was a multi-person race. I think there were five involved in that primary, which uh, makes it difficult to get a majority. But uh, were you at all shocked by the 45%? No, I mean, I won by 25 points. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I was kind of happy with, <laughs> you know, if you win by one vote. But, um, yeah, I mean, look, we won by uh, won by 25 points. Pretty huge win. Um, you know, I think it was kind of hard uh, with so many people running in the race. And then I had... Two people on the ballot, obviously, from Berkeley County, mm-hmm. uh, which I won Berkeley, uh, but not huge uh, with uh, having two folks on that ballot. Um, Joe Early, I assumed he was going to, I think I mentioned this to you all, I, 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 I thought Joe Early was going to come in second, and he did. And he, he ran a good campaign. He really concentrated his efforts around his home county. He did a good job on that. And, uh, you know, I'd say there was pretty even um, disbursement from where I thought they were going to be. And, um, yeah, I I think it was going to be hard to get over 50. And then what do you win by 30, 35? I mean, that's kind of bonkers kind of numbers there. But, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. Any surprises, Riley, looking at all the races? Any surprises? Um, you know, I, I was surprised, uh, Mark Hunt won that auditor's race. That's like, I can't really understand that one. Uh, that, that was surprising to me. Obviously a new Craig Blair was in a tough race. Uh, that, but that surprised me. Um, I think Trisha Jackson and Eric battled for that Eastern Panhandle vote a little bit there, Riley. If you add their two totals together, they get more than Hunt. So if there's just one candidate out of the Eastern Panhandle, that one candidate may have emerged. Yeah, and I think, um, you know, look, I I won every county in the Eastern Panhandle my race. But as I said, with having two folks on the ballot from Berkeley, obviously it um, suppressed my my vote totals uh, somewhat there in Berkeley, Berkeley being the largest county in my district. Now, you know, I was close to 55, depending on the county, 60% through the other eight, and then won Jefferson with 70% of the vote, um, which is great. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I saw that as well. And, you know, with the low voter turnout in Berkeley, kind of my t- total vote share uh, kind of windowed a little bit, and Harrison wasn't as down as Berkeley uh, at all. So, yeah, I mean, I, I I ended up kind of feeling a little bit of that as well. Mike Hornby texted me and said Berkeley had the lowest turnout in the state. John, go ahead. 
So, Ali, take us inside what uh, what happens in the next eight months or so. In six months, you get another election, and assuming mm-hmm. that that goes your way, two months after that, you're going to work in in the Capitol. So, what what's the, what happens? What's the next thing on your agenda, and how does that progress? Well, got to go raise money for a general election. Get ready, and you know, obviously, we got the team still together, and get ready to go hammer this thing out in a general election. Um, obviously, I think that's a very different contest, obviously, uh, given the seats like an R plus 24, but taking nothing for granted in any of this, and obviously we want to put up a good number in the general election, um, but I think, you know, this is where you, you know, you, you put your... Uh, put one foot in front of the other, win that general election. And I I think, you know, this is where you are also talking to some folks down in D.C. and where you're going to end up uh, trying to slot in uh, committee-wise or some of these other things. Now, I would think that in West Virginia, which is such a Republican state, the general would be a less challenging election than the uh, primary. Very much so. Okay. Um, But I don't like saying that. I'll let you say that. Okay. Uh, I don't want to take anything for granted here. (laughs) You don't want to say things out loud. (laughs) Your thoughts on how the governor's race turned out, Riley, as expected? Um, You know, what I think was interesting in that is the pollsters actually had it pretty dead on. Um, I mean, that's what it was. That's That's what the polls said kind of leading into the race. I mean, you all saw those polls as well. Um, obviously, uh, personally, it's a little tough for me. Um, but, you know, I think Patrick Morrissey is going to be a great governor. I think he will do a great job. And I think it is uh, a good thing to have a governor from the Eastern Panhandle. Well, Riley, we wish you the best, man. I hope you get some sleep at some point along the way here today. Well, yeah, I think here at some point now we got to go clean up all these yard signs. And- <laughs> <laughs> where, where do you store those things, by the way? I, sh- I assume you can reuse them in six months. Oh yeah, we can reuse them. We're gonna be, we're, we are going to reuse them. If you have it at your house and you don't want me to come and get it, just put it in your garage. You can put it back out later. Just maybe a couple of trips. Uh, but yeah, just you know, jam them into a storage unit and then redeploy. Well, good luck to you, man. Congratulations! Congratulations. Thank you all very much. Appreciate it.